There we go. Are we good? Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashlyn here. Sorry, I told you guys I've been sick. Selling total crap. However, a lot of things to do yesterday. I actually got an inch and a half, or half an inch cut off of my hair. Can't really tell. Um, it is a lot healthier again. Um, it's shiny, as you see. It's so shiny, it's so pretty. Yeah. Um, I. I'm not feeling well today at all. I sound like this. I have a doctor's appointment at 2 o'clock uh, to get, figure things out. Um, but I wanted to share with you, I am currently still reading Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding. I am currently... Um, 57 pages in. I just made it to March, actually, in this one, so that's kind of cool, I think, because that's the month we're in right now. Um, that's the one that I carried over from last month. Um, I did go to the library a couple days ago, and I will show you what I picked up, so you guys can see for yourself. So I picked up Confess by Colleen Hoover, and I am... 50 pages into it, um, I haven't read this one yet, and this one, uh, showed up on hold for me, so I had to go pick it up, obviously, so I'm reading that, and while I was there, I found some really great things, I found, um, Jane Doe by Victoria Helen Stone, which is on my backlist TBR, I have no idea what this is about. I want to say baby with a beat of Jane Doe. It's about a dead person. Um, let's say this is about a dead person who they can't identify, so they call her a Jane Doe. Maybe, possibly. No idea what it's about. Um, I haven't looked up into it either, uh, but it was on my backlist TBR. I got The Hiding Place by CJ Tudor. Um, again, no idea what this is about. I want to say it's about somebody being held captive or in some type of hiding from, like, witness protection, maybe, uh, from, like, a uh, domestic partner or somebody that has violently hurt someone. It says the worst day of his life wasn't when his sister went missing. It was the day she came back. Okay, so based on that, it sounds like an imposter comes in and is trying to kill someone. And it's supposed to be a sister, but it's not. Um, next, I got... Oops. Uh, lastly, I got um, Katrina Ward's new one, Sundial. I heard so many good things about this. I have no idea what it's about. Absolutely no clue. Um, I haven't, you know looked into it either. It looks like it's got some woods in the background. Uh, maybe some type of ancient burial grounds and some snakes and stuff. It's a beautiful cover though. I mean, look at that cover. The colors in it are amazing. The library just got this one in this month too, so. Exciting. Um, and then I went to the library again. <clears throat> and believe it or not, I only picked up movies this time that I went to the library. Um, I will be doing a haul probably next month, but I did stop finally at the free little libraries in town. Um, we have all these little free libraries. I didn't go to all of them. We have like five of them, and I only went to two. Um, there was one over by the water park, and then there was one in a park. And I found some really good books, like some really good books, like 17 books all together. And then, of course, I stopped in at the library just, you know, to go to the bathroom and give myself a minute because hauling 17 books in a tote bag is very heavy. <laughs> um, but I ended up getting, let's see, I got Buggy Nights. Like, okay, so I am on Letterboxd. And I have a watch list on Letterboxd. And a lot of the movies on my watch list on Letterboxd are not available on streaming devices. So, I went to the library and I scoped out their DVD section. Um, let's see. I had got Boogie Nights, which was a complete porno. Like, that's all it really was. Um, I got An Ideal Host, which was about aliens, I believe. Something around that nature. 
Then I got, gosh, um, it was something else. Hold on, two seconds. Oh, okay. Then I got a movie called Burn. It wasn't what I was originally going there for. This movie I came across. It's about a gas station that gets robbed in the middle of the night. Um, some really twisty shit happens with it. It's pretty good, actually. Like, it was really good. I gave it four stars on Letterboxd. Um, Boogie Nights. And then I got Black Friday also. And that was really good. I mean, it was like zombie-esque related creature feature type scenario, alien something or another. But it was good. It wasn't bad. Um... But those were just a couple of them that were on my, um, list. And then I watched, oh, wait, that's not, that doesn't count. Never mind. Um, so yeah, there was that. And then I was originally looking, when I found Burn, I was originally looking for Burn before, re- or Burn after reading, because that's also on my list. And however, it said it was at the library, but it's currently lost right now. They can't find it. So with that being said, that's why I picked up Burn because it, it kind of caught my attention. Just a one word title called Burn. And I looked at the cover and it says something about a gas station. And I was like, sold. <laughs> because I work at a truck stop. So, but a couple of the other movies that are on that letterbox watch list are Crimson Peak, which I found, and American Honey, which I also found. So, I will actually be watching these here in a little bit. Uh, these are, what, like two hours almost? Two-ish hours? Um... One sixty two fifteen sixties one twenty thirty forty fifties. Yeah, this one's almost like two hours and this one is an hour and fifty nine minutes. So these are both two hours, so that's four hours. Uh ten. I might be able to get through these if I start them now. I am finishing up the last ten minutes of um Final Destination five. I don't know why I put myself through this. Those Final Destination movies. I don't know who's behind those movies. With their brains and stuff. But oh my god. (laughs) The scenarios that they have. That they come up with. Unreal. Anyway. That takes care of two library visits. And the third library visit I've done this month. Probably not the only one because I am going back to the library today um was just yesterday actually and I picked up I went to the murder mystery dinner and that was a lot of fun um but I ended up picking up one that was on um um hold for me as well and that's separation um the first time I got this movie from the library I couldn't watch it it wouldn't it wouldn't play it was destroyed from b- the beginning. Um, so they repurposed it, took it back, got a new copy and all that fun stuff. So we're going to try it again. But this is also on my uh, letterbox TBR or TBW. So I'm going to knock this one out as well. And then I found another one that was on my um, my letterbox watch list as well. And that is Demonic. And they also just got this one this month. So, that's going to take care of four more movies off of my 75-ish letterbox, or, yeah, letterbox watch list. So, that's pretty good, actually. I am slowly making my way through it, and that's kind of exciting for me. Um, there is one that I know I'm not, I want to see X. I am also going to be watching The Adam Project probably when I get back from my doctor's appointment in the library. Um, so, I wanted to share that with you. But also, <clears throat> I got my hair cut yesterday, like I said in the beginning. But I also got my toes done. I'm not showing you my toes because that takes a lot of effort to lift my feet up that high right now. I don't feel good. But um, while I was, after I was done with the murder mystery dinner, I went and I checked out like the, uh, 
large print section because I feel like I can get through large print books better than I can get through regular books, which is really interesting for me. But I picked up Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, so I'm excited about that. I also picked up this one called The Insen Diaries by R.O. Kwan. I picked this up at one point before, but I never finished it. It was kind of difficult because it's a woman that's in captivity, I believe. I don't really know. Um, it doesn't tell me too much, but it looks like this. This is the Instant Diaries. So there's that. And then I found this one in... Ooh, this one's got a bad page in it. This one is The Souvenir Museum by Elizabeth McCracken. Um, I've heard about Elizabeth McCracken, but I've never heard about this book before. I, again, have no idea what this is about, um, but I'm really excited to see what it's about. Um, I took a picture of that one, like, last time I went to the library, so... And that's another thing I want to do when I go to the library today, is I want to uh, go and take more photos of the, the books on display that catch my eye and write them down, so... And then I picked up Hex um, by Rebecca Dinner, Dinnerstein at Night. Again, no idea what this one's about either. Hex, though, is usually dealing with witches or witchcraft or something. And I thought the cover was super duper cute. And this is from February, so that was the last month. And then I found one more that I know for a fact 110% without having to have the list with me is on my TBR. And that is... Jessica Dole's Luckiest Girl Alive. I found it in the large print, though, instead of the original. And they also have my favorite sister, I believe, by her, too. So, pick it up. And that is currently everything. I am currently still reading. Um, you should have seen this coming. Um, it is a NetGalley release that will be released next month sometime. Sometime next month, um, I'm, um, like, seven seventy two percent through it, and it's really, really good. Um, I like the different aspects and things. You'll see my review on Goodreads if you follow me on Goodreads. And then I'm currently working on Confess and, um, Bridget Jones's Diary. So, that is everything that I've been up to. There isn't really much of anything else I've been up to. I'm trying to also work through my Kindle Unlimited, um, samples. So there's that, and then there's like a shit ton of books on Kindle Unlimited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like addicted. Every time they e uh, book bargain sends me like the ebooks that for free and stuff, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna add this one. I'm gonna add this one. I'm gonna add this one. So we'll see if I ever actually get to reading those. I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and start like um including those with my um monthly picks and things like that. Um, based on, like, readathons and things like that. But I hope that you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!